Today we will learn how to create a UI scroll view with auto layout. Okay, so let's open up Xcode, create a new Xcode project. We will take single view application, press next, name it UI scroll view auto layout part one. There are two approaches uh, used for the UI scroll view to be created using auto layout. We will cover the first approach where we have some dynamic content to be came from API or third party server and we have to adjust our UI scroll view in real time. So let's jump. Now we will save it to our hard disk. Here it now. Here we are with our files. So these are the files. Now let's see what we do. First, we will go to main dot storyboard. Here we have our view controller. So we will drag and drop a UI scroll view. Here we have our scroll view. Now we will give constraints to our scroll view. So we will give zero zero from top zero from bottom zero from left means zero from leading zero trailing and zero from bottom okay so now here we have our us scroll view what it's now we will drag and drop our content view as in auto layout every scroll view adjust its scroll level size or its content size according to the content view inside it so we will drag and drop a content view that will hold all the contents that we, we, we want to show in our scroll view and thus by increasing the size of this content view we will may we will increase the content size of the scroll view and hence make it scrollable so for it we will give constraints from top like zero from left zero from zero from bottom zero okay so here it says that scroll view need constraints for exposition or for bar position. So we have to make it a horizontal centering container. Okay, that's and also we have to specify the height. So we will currently give the height to 128. Okay, this is zero. So we will give the height of our screen size to this constraints our screen size height is 667 so we will give 667 to our height 667 so here you can see our content view now go to your main controller and here we will create an IV outlet so that we can adjust the size or oh, the sorry we, we will we will adjust the height constraint of our ui scroll view content view so here we will need that we were adjusting or content we see or we can say view height constraints it's ns layout constraint okay now go to your main storyboard here we will connect the IV outlet by selecting the height constraints and now we will select uh, we will have set the content view height constraints okay now here what we will do we will set itself the content view height constraint to constant of thousand okay now when we'll run our app on iphone 
for 6s so we will see whether our scroll view scrolls or not So here we are running the app. The simulator is getting initialized. This is a very short video and it will give you insight. So here we are. you can see that we have our scroll view so whatever the height of this constant is set in this video or the scroll content size will be the same okay this is the dynamic suppose you have some data coming coming from server and you need to hide at one time you need the height to be of the screen size you can give the screen height here main dot bound dot size dot height and after getting the data you can set the height of your content view to that thing like suppose if this is coming thousand so this is a very simple approach of making a ui scroll view with auto layout okay with dynamic content to fit it into so whatever your the height of your content you can give the constant to this content view height constant and it will make the content size of your scroll will view to that size oh if you enjoyed the video then please subscribe and like and share the video thanks for watching